Thank you for watching our Dawson Tools instructional video for the DDM350 pen type digital multimeter. Let's take a look at the features of the meter. In any mode, to begin testing, connect the test lead to the comm jack. The tip of the meter acts as the positive connection and the test lead as the common end. The tip also comes with a protective cap, making it safer when making measurements on CAT3 installations. The cap can be removed simply by twisting it off for making measurements on CAT2 or lower installations. To measure voltage, move the rotary switch to the voltage position. Press function to switch between DC and AC voltage. Connect the tip and the test lead to the circuit under test and the display will show the measured voltage. For resistance measurements, move the rotary switch to the multifunction position. The default mode is resistance, so as soon as you connect the tip and the test lead to your circuit, the display will show the measured resistance. To measure diodes, press function while in resistance mode. The meter will switch to diode mode as indicated by the diode symbol on the top of the display. Connect the tip to the anode and the test lead to the cathode of the diode under test and the display will show the forward biased voltage drop. To switch to capacitance mode, press function while in diode mode. The farad symbol appears in the bottom right corner, letting you know you're in capacitance mode. Connect the tip and the test lead to the circuit under test and the meter will display its measured capacitance. For continuity mode, press function while in capacitance mode and the continuity symbol appears on the top of the display. Connect the tip and the test lead to the circuit under test to measure continuity. If the measured resistance is less than 50 ohms, the meter's buzzer will sound. To measure frequency and duty cycle, move the rotary switch to the hertz position. The default mode is frequency. Connect the tip and the test lead to the circuit to measure its frequency. Pressing the hertz button will switch the meter to duty cycle mode. Connect the tip and the test lead to the circuit under test and the meter will display the measured duty cycle. Additionally, in either AC voltage or current modes, pressing the Hertz button will switch the meter to frequency mode. Pressing the Hertz button again will switch to duty cycle mode. Pressing the button a third time will return the meter to either voltage or current modes. To measure current, move the rotary switch to the milliamp position. Press the function button to switch between DC and AC current. Connect the tip and the test lead in series to the circuit under test and the display will show the measured current. Do not measure currents that might exceed 400 milliamps. In voltage, current, resistance, capacitance, frequency, and duty cycle modes, the default range is auto. To switch to manual range, press the range button. Each press of the button increases the range displayed until pressed in the highest range, in which the range moves to the lowest range. To return to auto range, hold the range button. Only auto range is available in capacitance, frequency, and duty cycle modes. In any mode, if you need to keep the current reading on the display, press the hold button. The display will keep whatever reading on the display until the button is pressed again, returning the display to normal. To read the display in a dark environment, hold the backlight button and the display's backlight will turn on. The backlight will stay on for about 15 seconds before turning itself off. To turn off the backlight manually, hold the backlight button again. If you are having trouble seeing your test object, the meter comes with a work light so you can see where you're testing in a dark environment. In any mode, hold the work light button and the meter's work light will turn on, making it easier to see. The work light will stay on as long as you are holding the button. 
turning off as soon as you release the button. The last feature of the meter is the non-contact voltage test. Hold the NCV button and move the tip of the meter towards the test object. If the meter detects voltage, the NCV indicator will flash and the buzzer will beep. Thank you for watching this instructional video on the DDM350. For information on this and all our other products, please visit our website at www.dawsontools.com.